AP economics teacher since 1990 at Malvern Prep, a school near Philadelphia. We do both macro and micro. Today, we have two friends of subsidies and price wars who are going to explain this year's 2018 AP macro and microeconomic question, short question number two. Those two excellent students are Sean Padier and Jacob McGraw. Okay, you guys. All right, so first up, we're going to have Jacob explain A, B, and C. So I'll read the problem and the questions. Number two, modern day word processing software gives consumers the ability to create and save documents in different file formats that can then be accessed by multiple computer operating systems. The graph below depicts a perfectly competitive market for word processing software. In the graph, MSB is the marginal social benefit, MPB is the marginal private benefit, and MPC is the marginal private cost, MSC is the marginal social cost. A. Identify the type of market failure illustrated by the graph and explain. So as you can see here, MPC and MSC are equal, and MP MPB and MSB are not equal, which shows that this graph is a positive externality graph. So that's the kind of graph it will be. Why is it a positive externality? Is it a, is it a story about benefit, added benefit, or added cost? Right, the space in between here is the uh, is the added benefit, so that's why it's a positive. Awesome. All right. Letter B. Using the numbers on the graph, identify the market at equilibrium price and quantity. Well, the market at equilibrium price would be at point G, which would be right here, which is six dollars, and producing a sixteen quantity. All right. Letter C. Using the label labeling on the graph, identify the area representing the dead weight loss at the quantity identified in part B. So at point D E F, there is a dead weight loss right here, and it's labeled here, shaded in. And they did not say explain, so you did not have to explain it. Your shaded area, D E F is perfect. Could you guys explain what dead weight loss means? Sure. Well, dead weight loss is uh, described in a monopoly where the um, amount produced is lower than the equilibrium price in a completely perfectly competitive market. So here we see that the marginal social benefit is greater than the marginal private benefit. So the area between these two um, and then the quantity brought up from there, that's where the dead weight loss is in this example. Excellent. Excellent. Economics is it also the other E word is efficiency. So dead weight loss is a loss of efficiency by not producing the allocatively efficient. Very good. Part D. Suppose the government is considering granting a subsidy to correct the market failure. What is the dollar value of the per unit subsidy that would achieve the socially optimal quantity? All right. So the dollar value that would um, achieve the MSB uh, would be four dollars. And the reason for this is because, as you see, the MSB is, uh, MSB is greater than the MPB right there. So the line segment FG is the difference between these two. So we draw, we draw that right here. And we can see that the price difference in FG is actually $4. So with a subsidy of $4 per unit, the um, the company would produce at F, and that would be $4 subsidy per unit. I'll tell you what, that was as explained as well as I ever heard, Sean. Very, very good Thank explanation of that. Excellent. Part E. Suppose the government does not grant the subsidy and instead poses a price floor at $8. How many units will consumers and producers exchange at the price floor? All right, so when the government imposes a price floor at $8, rather than uh, the market equilibrium, at, or not the market equilibrium, the producing at six at 16 units when they produce at eight dollars you can see that um, the, they want to produce at point F and when they produce at point F that goes down to 24 units of output which would achieve the social um, the marginal social benefit it would be on this curve as you see point F is on there so rather than the rest of question E actually does uh, ask this as well. 
does the price floor correct the market failure? It would correct the market failure because as you see, rather than producing at the marginal private benefit, they produce at the marginal social benefit of point F. Well, I, I hope that the entire country or maybe even the entire uh, international market Here's your answer. That was, the, well, that was one of the best explanations I've ever received on, on uh, that question. You guys did a marvelous job. Have a great summer, and remember, you can't always get what you want.